Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for tablet users. Today we are revising the multi-resolution method. When I am on the detailing stage of a sculpt and I need to fix big shapes or smooth down surfaces, lots of polygons make it harder. When working with multi-resolution, I can easily move down a couple levels, fix what's needed and go back to higher levels without losing detail. I quite like multi-resolution. It allows me to alternate between resolutions according to the scale of change I need to make. Any sculpting action I do will be reflected on the other levels. When starting a new scene, we get a rounded box. Now on the top left of your screen, tap on the grid icon and the first available method is multi-resolution. This geometry already comes with five levels of subdivision. I'm gonna turn on the wireframe with this icon in the bottom and let's see what happens when I scroll down. Now that I'm in the lowest level, I'm gonna hit reverse. Now I have even less polygons. Try several times until we reach the base of the primitive. See, I told you this was a rounded box. Now hit on delete higher and all the levels higher to where I am will be deleted. If instead I go to the highest level and tap delete lower, all the levels underneath the selected one will be erased. If you don't want to erase all the level, move to intermediate levels and erase only what is higher or lower to where you are. I'll go back to having only the base. This time I'm gonna activate flat subdivision and then subdivide. This time my subdivision did not round the cube. Flat subdivision will give us sharp edges. As soon as I deactivate it, the edges become smooth. The number of subdivisions we can create depends on the capabilities of your tablet. When the number is fairly high for your device, you'll get a warning. When you hit this point, but you need more detail, you should consider other remeshing methods. Let's say we have a mesh with triangles, like this icosahedron. I can choose to subdivide it with quads, meaning faces with four vertices, or by ticking, keep triangles, I'll subdivide it with faces of three vertices. The tools that affect the topology of an object will take the current multi-resolution level and delete the others. These tools include other methods for remeshing. After a voxel remesh, I can create new multi-resolution levels, but only going higher, not lower. Other sculpting tools that modify the mesh are the trim tool and the split tool. These tools make pretty cool shapes, so if you're not ready to lose the multi-resolution, use project instead. Pretty much the same result without changing the mesh. A couple final notes. Up to December 2020, multi-resolution cannot be saved. When you open a scene, you will be on the resolution you last saved. So make sure you save on the highest level for potential detail loss. At least for now. According to the developer, these features are in the works. Alright, I'll see you soon with a new video. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.